so welcome to the problem solving session for the ninth week of the course geotechnical engineering one uh, which is handled by professor dn singh from the department of civil engineering iit bombay so i am yogendra narayanan i am a pmrf research scholar uh, who will be uh, who has been and will be taking these sessions on saturdays 5 pm to 7 pm and so for the since uh, these sessions will be uploaded on public forum uh, when to, just to reiterate so this is these sessions are particularly meant to uh, assist or, uh, or help the learners of this subject proficient in, in their concepts and solving problems Uh, periodically that is the contents uh, that has been covered in a particular week so this will this uh, uh, this problem solving sessions will be essentially consisting of solving uh, questions from the previous assignments and some of the uh, some of the conceptual questions and problems which will aid in the uh, understanding of the concept as well as in solving the problems which will be useful in your examinations and uh, further uh, other other examinations also so to give a brief account of what has been covered in the week 9 of this course so essentially the unconfined flow through earthen dams has been introduced that is flow through earthen dams and construction of flow net and the various governing equation cosnes equation for the uh, shape of the phreatic line and construction of flow nets in through the uh, earthen dam has been discussed and uh, followed by the anisotropy associated with soil mass which will reflect in case of permeability and how it affects the uh, laplace uh, continuity equations and followed by the modifications that has to be done for non homogeneous sections the dimension changes that has to be done uh, when uh water is flowing from one medium to another medium of different permeabilities and followed by the placement of filters and uh, the determining the location of outcrop point uh and some examples of calculating the discharge through the flow net has been discussed in the uh lectures so uh as an extension to it based on the concepts that has been covered in the uh week 9 of this course we will be solving some of the problems and as well as some uh multiple uh multiple choice questions uh, which will uh further reinforce the understanding of your concepts in the particular topic or subject so additional since this course for this particular week uh, since the content is a bit less so this week i will be focusing some of the derivations uh, important derivations uh, i will be revisiting some of the important derivations so uh, that is the one of the changes in this uh, week session so now let us move to the session so coming to the first line top flow line in a dam is a hyperbolic a logarithmic a parabolic curve and a, or a straight line so top flow line in a dam is parabolic curve logarithmic curve parabolic hyperbolic curve logarithmic curve parabolic curve or a straight line parabolic that is right so you consider a 
homogeneous dam section with a head loss H. So the flow line, top flow line, which is top flow line is also called as phreatic line. It is not. It is also called as phreatic line. Phreatic line. So we saw in the last week that phreatic line is the line which is always under atmospheric pressure. So it will look like some something like this. Sorry. If there is no filters, it might get outside here. So, this is known as phreatic line and it is a parabola. So, proving that it is a parabola, that derivation has been, that proof has been covered quite elaborately in uh, lectures itself. So, you can go through this, those proofs. And as far as this question is concerned, top flow line in a dam is a parabolic curve. And, and second, second question is outcrop point is the is, uh, that is outcrop point is defined as that or uh, is uh, which is denoted as outcrop point is point at which phreatic line cuts the upstream si si face at, fi at which phreatic line meets the rock flow, point at which phreatic line cuts the downstream face of the dam, at which phreatic line touches the downstream filter. Which of the option is correct? Third option. So, point at which phreatic line cuts the downstream cuts face the downstream, the downstream face of the dam. So, this out, outcrop point, uh, when there is no filters, uh, as we can see here, this point is known as outcrop point. So, when the width of the dam is such that the phreatic line touches the out, uh, downstream point, which is known as outcrop point, which results in possible failure of the downstream end of the slope. So, uh, which is why the filters are provided at the downstream end of the dams. So, outcrop point is the point at which phreatic line cuts the downstream face of the dam. Now, let us move to the next question. For a tow angle, alpha less than or equal to 90 degrees, the velocity of the top flow line at exit is at an angle alpha to the downstream phase, perpendicular to the downstream phase, parallel to the downstream phase, at an angle 90 minus alpha to the downstream phase. At an angle alpha to the downstream phase, I think. So, actually, uh, first let us understand what does the question say. So, tow angle alpha is, if you take this, take a dam. So this angle is known as this known this angle is beta 
and toe angle this is alpha right so you have a water water column here the top flow line comes like this and meets the outcrop point when this meets first uh, first option is at an angle alpha to the downstream face so that means it should enter such a way that it makes alpha first one option and b option is perpendicular to the downstream face that is if it go if hitting like this then what uh, flow the velocity of the top flow line direction direction will be this is the first option second option is this one as that this is 90 degrees third option is parallel to the downstream face and the uh, the angle 90 minus alpha to the downstream face is Maybe this part, or uh, it is such that it is ninety minus alpha. So always it it will it should be noted that when water comes tends to come out of it, the direction of the velocity will always be parallel to the downstream face. So it will flow along the downstream downstream slope only okay hello okay sir so it will be parallel to the downstream face and uh, moving to the next question for a dam provided with a rock flow filter the flow at the toe does not change direction, enters with flow deviating towards normal to the interface, enters with flow deviating away from the normal to the interface, bypasses the rock toe. Can you say what is the correct answer? Hello? Yes, sir. So, can you guess what is the, what will be the correct answer? I think B. No, that is the that is not the right option. So this part has been explained in the lecture. You can once revisit the lecture again. It is a direct question. So for a dam dam provided with rock flow, the flow at the toe will always bypass the rock. Okay, sir. I will. I will. Leave. Alright, so now moving to the next question. So, so which of the following is not correct? For a given set of boundary conditions, the flow net is unique. In a flow net, flow through all elementary squares is equal. In a flow net, head drop across each channel is equal. Impermeable boundaries are equipotential lines.
which is the right option can you guess which is the right option b b or d d impermeable boundaries are equipotential yes that is uh, first case is for a given set of boundary conditions flow net is always unique that is obviously true in a flow net flow through all the elementary squares is equal so if you take a flow net Uh, for a through the q will remain the same and in a flow net head drop across each 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 channel is equal so if you take a flow net like this so the head drop here will be delta h here it will be delta h here it will be delta h so this will also remain the same so these three options are right and impermeable boundaries need not be equipotential lines so this option is not right okay okay sir so just a minute So is screen visible now? No sir. No. So is sir visible? Yeah. So now this part is done. So now moving to the next question. so the uh, now let us solve this question a permeability test on a clay sample yielded the following values e equal to 1.1 and k is equal to 0.302 into 10 power minus 7 cm per second and for e is equal to 0.9 k is equal to 0.12 into 10 power minus 7 cm per second estimate the hydraulic conductivity of the clay if e is equal to 0.75 when k follows the following relationship k is equal to c into e power n by 1 plus c where c is a soil dependent property okay can you solve this question sir can you solve this 
yes sir i will i will sir so i will give a small hint here so how many unknowns are there here two two unknowns are there how many data you have how many equations you can create two so if you uh, create two equations and solve those two equations you will get the two unknowns get an hello so what will be the first equation so k okay, is 0.302 into 10 power minus 7 equal to c into 1.1 power n by 2.1 so second equation will be 0.12 into 10 power minus 12 Minus seven is equal to c into point nine power n by one point nine. So now, zero point three zero two into ten power minus seven by one point one power n into two point one is equal to. Zero point one two into ten power minus seven into one point nine by zero point nine power n. So this part you can cancel here. So it will be zero point three zero two into two point
Have you solved it? How much you are getting the value for n and c? Hello? Where n is equals to 4.93. Okay. And c is? Not calculated it. Okay. Wait. Where c equals to 0 0.39 into 10 to the power of minus 7. Okay. Now how much we are getting? 0 0.396 into 10 to the power of minus 7. 396 into 10 to the power minus 7. Minus 7. Okay. Now we calculate k for this e. Okay, sir. So you just check the value, n will be almost 5.114. Okay, sir, I will check. Check the values once. N will be approximately 5.1. Okay, substitute here.
थ्री नाइन जीरो इंटू टेन पावर माइनस वन हाउ मच आर यू गेटिंग मीन दी सिमिलर वे दिस इज पॉइंट नाइन पवर एन बाई वन पॉइंट नाइन सो वेन यू ईक्वेट सी यू विल लेफ्ट विथ दिस आर यू गेटिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन सर सर बट सॉल्व द एन वैल्यू फोर पॉइंट नाइन फोर सर बिकॉज़ आई प्लेइंग द लॉग फंक्शन लॉग फंक्शन वन पॉइंट टू टू ओके वेरी एन सो आई पुट द वन लॉग वन पॉइंट टू थ्री बिकॉज़ वन पॉइंट टू 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 सो आई वन पॉइंट टू 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 यू कैन नॉट राउंड आउट टू वन पॉइंट टू थ्री ना ओके ओके सर Yes, sir, five point one. Because uh, I put the value one point two three. That's why answer four point nine. And okay. similar way, you can calculate C also. Now, okay. uh, for calculating K, for this this one, zero point three nine. Zero point three nine. Zero point three nine. Zero point three nine. Over five point one, and that way one point seven five. How much you are getting? What is the k value you are getting? Oh no no, c value three point. Sir, where c is equals to three point eight eight. In, into three point eight eight into ten to the power of minus seven. Minus seven or minus eight? Centimeter per second. Eight. Sir, ah uh, c value sir. Uh mm huh. -hmm. C value, C uh, value zero point three nine six, not sir zero point three eight eight. Ah, okay, three nine. Because n value five point one. Okay, so now you calculate the same for k. How much k are you getting for this one? How much you are getting? Zero point zero five into ten to the power of minus seven. Yes, so it will be zero point zero five into ten to the power minus seven centimeter, centimeter per, second. per second. Per second. Centimeters. Okay. So now let us move to the next question. 
ओके सर नाउ द फिगर बिलो शोस अ शीट पाइप ड्रिवन इनटू अ सॉइल लेयर हैविंग हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ 4 इनटू 10 पावर माइनस 6 मीटर पर सेकंड कैलकुलेट द डिस्चार्ज ऑन द डाउनस्ट्रीम एंड टैबलेट द वाटर प्रेशर एक्टिंग ऑन द पाइल along the points from a to i so to just a small correction here you can consider this flow line also so what is the head loss here now let us solve the first part of the problem so first part you have to calculate the discharge on the downstream end so that is q q is k h n f by एन डी राइट सो वॉट इज दस इयर हलो सर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव हेच इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव वॉट इज एन एफ How many flow channels are there? Flow channels one. How it is one? Flow line, sir. Not flow line. Enough is flow channels. Ah, uh, flow lines is two. So that flow lines is two. Hmm. So flow channel is one. If flow lines are two. What is meant by flow channel? So this is a flow channel, and this is a flow channel. This is a flow channel. So which is the flow line here? This is the flow line. These are all equipotential lines. हेलो हेलो Please respond. Then only I can understand whether you have got it or not. Hello. Yes, sir. How many flow? N F. What is the value of N F? How many channels are there? So much of green green lines is there, sir. How to? Okay. Ah. Just a minute. So. so now you can say how many how much how many flow channels are there three sir n f is three and n d how many drops are there
how many drops are there eight eight so you know all the details you substitute it now 4 into 10 power minus 6 h you know it is 7.5 nf is 3 nd is 8 how much you are getting Eleven point two five into ten to the power of minus six. It is eleven point two five into ten to the power of minus six. What is the unit? Meter cube per second. Always say with unit. So this first part is done, right? Now, tablet okay, B water pressures. acting along along the uh, acting on the pile along the points from a to i so you are able to see the points na a b c d e up to i hello yes sir are you able to see the points a b c d e up to i a b c d i uh, yes sir so uh, how how will you calculate water pressure you remember last week we solved one problem water pressure is gamma w into pressure head right yes sir now you have to calculate pressure head at every point so how will you do it now just tabulate everything points a b c d e f g h i and this is the elevation head of each point this is the total head so those who have joined you can just uh, start from the present question so to give us slight uh, uh slight background so this is the uh question in which a sheet pile has been introduced and this is the uh, flow net that has been constructed so the question here is to find the pore pressures that is water pressure acting along the point on the points a to i so along the pile so for that so elevation elevation head total head and pressure head all right so this pressure head pore water pressure will be pressure head into gamma w gamma w you can take as 10 okay now what is the elevation head for uh, now we have this elevations 0 5 you can take this as datum to avoid the unnecessary negativities of uh, negative values of the elevation heads so you take this as datum now you say the elevation head for uh, all the points what is the elevation head for a
please respond if you are responding only then i can okay, understand please. there is no point in me solving here So, what is the elevation head for the points? At point A, elevation head is thirty. So, everything is meters. Thirty meters, I think. Thirty B. At B, elevation head is ah uh, twenty. Twenty. C. Sixteen. Sixteen. So B and G, uh, B and H will have same elevation head. And C and G will have same elevation head. And D, what about D? D elevation head ten. Ten. Correspondingly, F will have same. E is how much? E is five. Five. What about I? I elevation head. I think seven. Twenty plus seven. Wait, wait. Twenty plus. Calculate. No elevation head. Elevation head is already given. Okay. Twenty-two point five. This twenty-two point. Five. Now, what is the total uh, total head that uh, yeah? Okay, let me put it this way. Now, what will be the pressure head at here? To here zero. Zero. So total head will be thirty. Thirty. So what will be the pore pressure here? Pore pressure is equals to zero. Zero. In similar way, what about I? Okay, the pressure head is uh, zero. Hmm. Total head is twenty-two point five, and pore pressure is zero. Pore pressure is zero. Zero. Now come to point B. So, what is the pressure head? Ten. Yes, it is ten. Total head will be three hundred thirty. Right. Four so, pressure is hundred. Hundred. So just a minute. Ten into hundred to sorry sorry hundred pressure head four pressure is hundred. Okay. It's sixteen six plus ten sixteen. Pressure is hundred. So, but if you see here, what about total head? The screen is not visible, sir. Now, is it visible now? Yes, sir. So what what happens if you see here? What is the total head? There is no difference. That means there is no flow taking place within the water column, right? So do you remember the last week we solved one problem like this? Please respond, sir. Yes. So last week we solved one problem like this. Do you remember? Yes, sir. 
so now coming to point h what is the uh, pressure head very h the pressure head is 2.2 okay present 2.5 it is 2.5 so total head will be 22.5 So uh, it will be twenty-five for pressure, right? Are you getting or not? Hello. Yes, sir. Are you getting or not? Yes, sir. Getting. So now, what does this mean? So there is a head difference between B and H, right? Yes, sir. So water has to flow like this. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Correct. So now you have to calculate pressure head set C, D, E, F, G, and H. H we already know. Up to G we have to calculate. How for that? Uh, please listen. Sir, your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Now it is clear or not? No, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Now no, it's sir. clear. Yes, sir. So please listen carefully here. Uh, this type of problems you have to calculate the total head for these points. That how will you calculate? You know, at this point B, the total head is thirty, right? please respond so that i can comprehend that you are understanding hello yes sir please respond uh, uh, when when i am whenever i am stopping if you are understanding please respond yes okay sir so at b there is a total head of 30 sir your voice is completely breakdown sir hello hello Yes, sir. Is it clear now? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Is it clear now? Why is it clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. Now listen carefully. What is the total head here? At B, it is thirty. what is hello yes sir at be total head is 30 30 please uh, respond uh, timely so that i can understand that you are following otherwise i am not able to get any idea of, of whether you are following or not okay, okay so okay. it is 30 now uh, you know that the total head loss is 7.5 yes sir so total head loss let us keep it as h it is 7. Point.
just a minute Are you able to see the slide? No, sir. Screen is not visible. Just a minute. Just a minute, I will. Okay, sir. Uh, ah, now is it visible? Yes, sir, visible. So now, as as I said before, the total head at B is thirty. Now and the total head loss is seven seven point five. Seven point five meters, right? Now, yes, sir. What happens? Yeah, so uh, it is reaching from thirty to twenty two point five in eight drops, right? Yes, sir. So. That means, for that seven point five has to be divided by eight, right? Yes, sir. So, for one drop, the head loss will be seven point five into divided by eight. Divided by eight, zero point nine three. Zero point nine three. Now, from zero point nine. Now thirty. What will be the total head at C? Total head at C. Okay. See, listen carefully here. So this is head loss. That means for one drop, the total head loss. Listen carefully. The total head loss is point nine three for one drop. Okay. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, am I clear? So please listen carefully. Ah, uh, for every drop, there are eight drops, and for every drop, there is a decrease in the total head of point nine three meters. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, what will be the total head at C? So, here the yeah. total head at thirty. So, from thirty, if it if water goes to C, what will be the head here? Total head. Are you understanding or not? Please respond, please. Yes, sir. If you are understanding, please respond. You are understanding or yes. If you are not understanding, tell me frankly that you are not understanding. Ah, uh, sir, wait a minute. I. Sir, wait a minute, sir. I will rejoin the class because ah. Uh, I your voice is breakdown. I de I don't understand what you say. So wait a minute, sir. I will rejoin. Okay.
Am I am I clear now? My voice is clear. Yes, sir. It's clear. Okay. Now coming back to the problem. See here at point B. If if my voice is not clear, you can say that my voice is not clear. Don't please be don't uh, please don't be quiet. So if if you say then only I can understand that there is an issue. Okay, sir. Okay. So at point B, the total head is thirty. Yes, sir. Right? Now for every drop, the total head reduces by. Point nine three meters. So, what will yes, be the sir. total head at C? Twenty nine point zero six. Yes, twenty nine point zero six. Zero seven. Zero six. Zero seven. Twenty nine point zero six two five. Okay, whatever uh, it is. So. What will be at D? Okay, sir. What will be the total head at D? Twenty-eight point zero six. Twenty-eight point one two. Okay. Further for E. At E twenty seven point one eight five. Okay, one nine. So. Ah, oh, okay, sir. So far, yeah. Yeah, for twenty six point two four. a minute there is an issue with the slide you want to run it is my slide visible now no sir now now it's visible it's yeah. visible sir ah now for 10 what did you get That is for F. F twenty six point two four. Twenty six point two five. Two five. So at G. At G twenty five point three one. Twenty-five point three one. Now you calculate pressure head here. Twenty-five point three one. What will be the pressure head at C? See, you know total head and elevation head. Hello, am I clear? Audible or not? Yes, sir. It's audible. So you have total head and elevation head. What will be the pressure head? Sir, I have a small doubt, sir. Yes. At a, at a G, the uh, the total head is twenty five point three one. Mm -hmm. So now calculate the twenty five point three one minus zero point nine three at a H. So oh. we get the twenty four. But before we calculate the H value, twenty two point five. Okay, just a minute. Let me check for a minute. Total head is. You check these values at E.
at e the value you check here 30 minus 5 into 7.5 okay okay at e is equals to fourth point to not third point okay so this is 26 point two five. then f is not this f again sorry this is four only so at point D, it will be two times. So this is right. Check these values. From this. E will be number of drops is four. Okay, sir. I will calculate where E is at uh, four, fourth point. So we get the two times and uh, and F is also. So at at F the total head is at E. Okay, okay. At E the total head is uh, twenty six point two five. Yes. So this will not be the value here. So here it will be 26.25 and here it will be 23.31. No, no, sir. Where F is also uh, second point, so E2, so 24.37. Ah, 24.37. Twenty five twenty three point four three. Twenty three point four three. Four three. Now you calculate uh, Next, uh, for all the values. Okay, okay. At the C the pressure head is thirteen point zero six. Thirteen point zero six. Correspondingly, you calculate this also for pressure also. It will be 130.6. Okay. 130 18.12. Okay. 181.2 at four pressure. Will be twenty one point two five. Twenty one point two five. Two one two point five. This Next fourteen point three seven. One two three point seven. This will be seven point four three. Seven point four three. Twenty four point three. This is KP. It's a kilo pascal. Right. Now what you are seeing here? From here, the pore pressure is increasing. And while going here, the pore pressure is decreasing. So it is reaching it's a peak a here. And towards the downstream side, it is getting... pore pressure is decreased that is the energy of the water is getting lost okay yes sir so have you understood this yes sir i understood now the same way you can calculate the pressures here okay sir Calculate at A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, sir.
so you take this as datum now you same way you prepare a table a b c d e and f elevation head Are you calculating? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How how much you are getting? How much I get? Box. So elevation it will remain same for all the points. So it will be ten minus two. This is in meters. This is in meters. This is in meters. This is in kPa. Elevation head will be eight, 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 eight. Okay. Now. The total head difference will be head loss will be how much? Am I audible or not? Yes, sir. It's audible. How much is the head loss? Where head? Seven. Seven. Wait, wait. Correct only. It is seven. So this seven head loss. What is what will be the total head at this point? It will be total head at this point. At two. It will be ten plus. Seven. Which point? It will be seventeen meters. This point from here only flow is taking place. Now starting, na. This point. Are you able to see or not? Hello. Yes, sir. Are you able to see or not? Yes, sir. Once I explain, at see point. what is the head, total head at this point, which I have marked. This means A or oh, mark. No, okay, total. Mark it now here. First, you have to know the total okay. head at this point. Then only you can calculate at every point here. Okay, okay. Seventeen, sir. Seventeen, right? Yes, sir. Now, from seventeen, how much? How many drops are there? Seven. How many? How many potential drops? Seven. Seven. So N D is seven. So 
total is total head loss is 7 nd is 7 for every drop there is a 1 meter drop in total head so what will be the total head at a total head at a see at this point okay. it is 17 one drop how much it should how much it should decrease by 1 1 meter right okay okay sir so what is the delta h value h by n d will be 1 meter right so yes sir total head at, at a, a is equals to 16 17 minus 1 delta h total head at b is equal to 17 minus 2 delta h like that you calculate for everything yes sir 16 16 15 14 13, 14, 13, 13, 13 12 11 so what will be the pressure header here Eight. This will be eight. This will be seven. It will be six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Three. Three. Right. Yes, sir. Eighty, seventy. Eighty. Seventy. Sixty. 50, 40, 30, right, okay, hello, yes sir, okay sir, uh, now, so this is the pressure acting, in which direction it is acting? What? Pressure is acting in which direction? Upward direction. It will be acting in upward direction. So, the total width of the dam is 14 meters. Right? See, please respond. Yes, sir. Please respond. Then only I can understand whether you are able to understand or not. So you are keeping your mic off and I am not able to get whether you are understanding or not. Okay, okay, sir. So total width of the dam is 14 meters. Okay, sir. Right. So that part, now... Uh, for every point see there are six uh, at a this 80 at b sorry sir just a minute so pressure is acting at now write the points A, B, C, D, E and F. Okay? Yes, sir. Now what is the pressure at A? 80. Pressure at B? 70. Pressure at C, 60. Pressure at D, 50. Pressure at E, 40.
प्रेशर एट एफ थर्टी राइट सो एवरीथिंग इज एक्टिंग इन अपर डायरेक्शन राइट नाउ कनेक्ट दीज पॉइंट्स so what is this this is a quadrilateral right yes sir so this entire distance is 14 meters right yes sir now how many point uh, different what will be the assuming this every length is every interval is equal what will be the length of every interval pen 14 by protein divided by 80 not 8 sir 5 14 by 5 so how much you will get 2.8 2.8 2.8 point so every interval will be 2.8 now you calculate the area for each quadrilateral how will you calculate the area area is h by 2 into a plus b H is two point eight by two. A plus B is for the first quadrilateral it will be eighty and seventy. Second is seventy and sixty. Third is sixty and fifty. Fourth is forty and uh, for fifty and forty. Fifth is forty and thirty. Are you able to get or not? Yes, sir. Now we calculate what is the area for each quadrilateral and you add it. Okay, ten point five. First, sorry, one not five. Okay. One not five. Two point eight divided by two. Okay, that's it. Two point eight okay. divided um, by two into eight. Two ten sir. Seventy yes. This two ten. Two ten. plus for every uh, let us say this is quadrilateral 1 2 3 4 5 you calculate for all the phi and you add it How much you are getting? Okay, sir. One two ten. Next one one eighty two. Mm. Next one fifty four. Okay. Next one twenty six. Hmm. Last one ninety eight. Ninety eight. Total is. Total is. Seven seventy. This is seven seventy. Okay. So why did we calculate the area? Force. It is the force. 
pressure into area so that's why this is the force 770 kilo newton is the force per acting upward yes, okay so now if you know the weight of the dam you can say that say whether the dam will fail or not so the weight of the dam will act downwards if w greater than this force dam will be stable safe if w is less than this force then dam will Li dam will be lifted upwards okay 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 sir now was it clear or not sir what is the uplift uh, uh, uplift factor of safety uplift factor of safety uh, is uh, that you have to ca you have to know the weight eh? and this weight by uplift force that is uplift factor of safety what the uh, range of the factor of safety sir it should be greater than 1 okay okay sir generally general range of fact in geotechnical engineering factor of safety will keep as 2.5 to 3 okay so okay, sir. this value w by f for the dam to be safe against uplift it should be greater than 1 Your okay, force should sir. be greater than one. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Are you able to understand or not? Yes, sir, understood. Okay. Now solve these two quick questions. So, for flow across an interface between two soil media of different coefficient of permeability. The entrance angle alpha one is forty five degree. What will be the angle of exit if the ratios of permeabilities of the two soil media is k one by k two is equal to root three? Can you solve this question? I will try. Can try. I will be back in just a minute. Okay, okay, sir.
Have you solved it? Yes, sir. Solve what it. Did you solve? Tan alpha one by uh, tan alpha two equals to k one by k two. So k one by k two to tan alpha one by tan alpha two. Tan alpha two. This root three to tan forty five is one by tan alpha two. Alpha two will be thirty. Thirty degrees. Right? Yes. Now for a dam. With the downstream angle alpha is equal to 35 degrees, in total head. That is the change in head. That is head difference is 20 meters. If the distance from the initiation of phreatic line to the toe of the dam D is 30 meters. What is the distance of outcrop point from the toe of the dam? This relationship has been de derived in class. Yes, sir. Do you remember? D by cos alpha minus. Yes, yes, yes. Root over d square by cos square alpha minus h square by sin square, square, square alpha. H square by sin square alpha. So that part A is defined as. D by cos alpha minus root over d square by cos square alpha minus h square by sin square alpha. How much you are getting? Not calculated yet, sir. Wait a minute. Answer twenty five point four two. Yeah, which is twenty square by sine square thirty five. Twenty point. At twenty five point four two. Twenty five point four two. 
Were able to understand, ma? Yes, sir. Now let us move to the next question. Okay, sir, but the diagram is not visible. So now visible or not? Uh, okay, sir. Is it visible? Yes, sir, visible. Okay, now you can calculate the seepage rate at the from the downstream end. Add it, just add it here. That is uh, through the toe. Page rate at the downstream end. So I will just give a hint. Q will be calculated as permeability into L into sin alpha tan alpha. This is the relationship we, we have to use. Okay. Okay, now, sir. K we know, right? Sir, uh, where small Q and capital Q is same, sir? Q capital Q is when you uh, how to say? If you calculate by uh, complete complete area this this way. What sir? If you take a complete section. In three dimensional, it will look like this, na? Okay, sir. Now we are calculating for unit length only. Okay. Per yes, unit sir. length is small q, total length is q. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, sir. So q will be q e k into l. L is which we denoted it as a. Mm. L is this this value into sin alpha into tan alpha. Okay. Okay. okay now okay. what is the unknown here? You have to calculate outcrop point A. Yeah, outcrop point you have to calculate. Where in diagram denotes L. Ah, diagram it denotes L. That is L. Okay. So. Okay, sir. How will you calculate L? D by cos alpha minus D by cos alpha minus root over D square by cos square alpha minus H square by sin square alpha. Sin square alpha. Now here. We know what is H. H is 6.6 meters. Total head. We, the total head is 6.6. 6.6. Do we know D? Height of the dam. No, not D is not the height of the dam. Okay. Width of the dam. Uh, from Okay, okay. You see, in this diagram, it is denoted D. Yes, sir. Okay, now D is there. D, we we do not know D. So in this, we need to calculate yes, D. Right. D. 
how will yes, you sir. calculate where yes. alpha is equals to 30 no alpha we ah uh, where alpha is equals to 30 d we don't know na yes sir how will you calculate d d how will calculate d see for that you have point p times delta plus b plus this distance for this distance and 0 point see this distance let us say this is some some value uh maybe x plus x plus this distance y let us say y now you don't know what is delta delta value you don't know x value you don't know y value you don't know right yes sir so now it is purely geometry what will be the value of delta delta will be you know this angle is beta this height is six point six meters. So delta will be h by tan beta. Mm-hmm. See what is tan beta? One h by delta, right? Yes, sir. So what will be delta? Delta is equal to h by tan beta. Which will be six point six divided by tan forty five. It will be six point six only, right? Yes, sir. So point three delta will be. Are you calculating or not? Sir, uh, uh, we solve the tan beta in delta is equal to h by tan beta. So again, uh, we replace delta value h by tan beta. How? See from here by only, na tan beta is equal to h by delta. Then delta is equal to h by tan beta. Okay, sir. That is okay. But uh, again, we replace delta is equals to h by tan beta. Tan beta is equal to h by delta. Solve the above equation. Ah, so and we replace I... again above equation in this. See, so you know, where ta- you don't confuse here. So are you able to understand how delta is equal to h by tan beta? हेलो ओके सर आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड आर नॉट ओके सर टेल टेल सर सी सी नाउ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट डेल्टा राइट यस सर हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट डेल्टा you need to have some information what you have beta value right you have h value this is a triangle this is h which is 6.6 this is delta this is beta which is 45 degrees right 
Yes, sir. Now, what will be the delta value? Then, okay, so ten forty-five is equal to delta value h by ten forty-five. It will be same. That is what I said. H by ten ten beta. So, what will be point three into six point six? Right. Plus B. B is three point three. Now you need to calculate x. X. How will you calculate? So we know this angle. So this is sorry. Uh, this is y. and you carefully see what the triangles i am drawing this is x right okay, okay sir if this is alpha this will be alpha right okay sir alternate angles are equal right yes sir And th if this is beta, this will be beta, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Are you able to understand or not? Yes, sir. Are you able to get it or not? Get it, sir. Tell me, sir. So, uh, the height of the dam is given as eight point three meters, right? Yes, sir. So, what will be the value of y? So you know h is six point six. The yes, total sir. height is eight point three. So what will be the value of y? Again, tan beta is equal to this value, which is eight point three minus six point six by Y. Y is equal to 8.3 minus 6.6 is 1.7 meters. So, and similar way, x is this height. We know tan alpha is equal to 8.3. By x, so x will be 8.3 by tan 30 degrees. How much you are getting? Great, sir. It is simple trigonometry only. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Understood. Where x equals to fourteen point three seven, sir. Okay. And y is one point seven meters. One point seven. So now you know d. Now you substitute d in that equation, and you get the value of l. Okay, sir. Fourteen point seven plus one point seven. Okay, sir. What is the value of d? Delta six point six zero point three into six point six plus three point three.
where d is equals to 21.5 sorry 21.35 21.35 calculate l okay sir How much you are getting? Wait, wait, sir. Three point two eight three. So now you calculate Q. Okay, sir. Convert convert K into proper units and then calculate. It is centimeter per second. Yes, sir. Answer two point two into ten to the power of minus six meter per second. Two point two into ten to the power of minus six six meter cube per second. Second. So now you are able to understand, na? Sir, sir, wait, wait. Yes. Where k is equals to two into where I did not replace l value three point eight three. Yes, two point two. So due to the uh, time constraint, I am skipping the derivations. uh so we'll be continuing this session in the next week also for that uh, mostly it will be uh, stresses in the soil uh, okay sir so uh, you can find the slides in the nptel account of yours uh, in the uh, problem solving sessions and if you have any doubts you can ask uh, ask in that forum and uh, okay sir so with this we will be concluding the session okay sir thank you sir thank you